So I and Elo, this is again Alan, the Forex algo trader. And in today's video, I'm going to show you and uh, in a fully full explanation in this case, full and uh, detailed explanation of what we mean by enumerations and how you can apply the enumerations in your expert advisor development program in this uh, case process in this uh, instance so basically an enumeration is something like uh, this one which is now basically a listing of items or uh, things in this uh, instance where you can just basically like maybe choose between one two three four five item one item two item three item four option one option two option three option four so the best explanation for this one and the easiest i do mean the easiest is is that it is just basically a listing of items uh, yeah basically a listing of items in this uh, case so let me show you how you can uh, use enumerations to create this uh, listing of items of your cho choice or uh, of your choosing in this uh, case or the ops choosing of options in this case again doesn't really matter over here so to do this one you just need to go to the ide or to open which opens basically the meta codes language editor for you in this uh, case so just i will just create a new expert advisor for illustration purposes over here i can say enumerations enumerations like uh, enumerations enumerations may be explained in this uh, case maybe enumerations explained we'll just choose whichever uh, wording for your file in this uh, case then click on next next and then again finally finish in this uh, instance so just expand this one for easier visualization then over here i can just uh, basically create uh, an in enumeration in this uh, instance over here maybe i want to have like enumeration enumeration maybe 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 like what maybe like what methods trading methods again over here maybe trading trading methods in this uh, case so trading so enumeration trading methods then maybe you need to have this uh, braces after that one then pro make sure to provide in the semicolon after that one then over here inside the uh, of this enumeration that you want to create then you can have something like uh, you can have something like uh, what like uh, what like uh, what you can have something like like the the listing basically the listing of your items the items that you want or the trading options yeah something like uh, that one maybe you can have method one method one in this uh, case then make sure to use a comma to separate the methods that you want to use then again you can have method two in this uh, case then again you can have method method maybe three in this uh, instance so I'll just go ahead and compile this one you can see it just compiles fine without any error said warnings you can have as many methods or a, or a, or a options or a item items that you want to have in this uh, case then after here after this point now over here you just need to go ahead and create a variable so basically what we just created over here is like a it's like a, a data type in this case so if we were to just come over here maybe we have trading trading methods then create a variable from it basically what i mean over here is like we can have integer the this integer is a data type variable that you want to create it is data type in this case so again these trading options acts as now the data type then you can now provide in like integer a something like that one so over here i will now provide like like now the trading methods which is now acting as a it is an enumeration but acting as a data type then you can provide in like methods in this uh, case so maybe trade method in this uh, case again so if i compile this one you can see it works fine in this uh, case so right now we can use we can choose the uh, these trade methods in our in our maybe on the on tick function we want to trade based on whichever the method that is uh, that is selected in this case so maybe you can just pre, uh, check off an if statement over here like if if trade 
if trade method which is not the action that we created over here maybe let me just have the method alone in this uh, case method uh, maybe method to trade uh, just to, uh, well uh, basically anything 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 it doesn't really matter or let me just have the option it is, seems more distinguishable option option yeah something like uh, that one so over here now we can check that if option yeah there it come if option now is equals to maybe method one in this uh, case we just want to go ahead and print that method one is selected maybe print like uh, something like is selected for for trading in this uh, case so maybe you can have something like uh, maybe like you can have method one then is selected for trading in this uh, case then we can have something like like again this one if option is equals to again method two we can then say that method two is selected for trading and then again we can have something like if uh, option is equals to method let's say three then we can print that method three is selected for trading this uh, case basically i just i'm just using this one for illustration purposes in this uh, case maybe be, we don't want to print this on each and every tick maybe i just cut this one and we can print it on the on init section in this uh, case so yeah something like uh, that one more more dynamic in this uh, case so over here now we just need to go ahead and select the method so maybe option is equals to now method let's say method two in this uh, case so compile this one then let us have it on the strategy tester and see what method do we print in this uh, case so it was enumerations explained then I just basically click on start then let us see so you can see method one is selected for trading did we really select method one no let me see we did not select method one we just need we just selected option is equals to method two maybe you can have else if then the else statement over here so yeah something technical like that wow unexpected token why do we get this kind of error let me let me try to figure let me just get rid of these on uh, this other method over here for to ease things in this uh, case so just click on start then wow method one we just print one is selected for trading that is not the case let me try to figure out something over here technically this should be <laughs> wow i see we have item number zero item number one item number two in this uh, case so basically we cannot do something like uh, this one so we just need to have like uh, this is basically <laughs> the, you know the computer just starts counting from zero and the, like if i were to have method one over here we will just print zero <laughs> because it is at index uh, number zero in this uh, case so basically there is nothing there is nothing wrong with the <laughs> with the expert advice it is just working fine so basically maybe for more distinguishable 
thing we can have something over here like a uh, maybe let me i didn't want to do this one but let me just do it we can have method one is selected for trading so i can just cut that one then we can have method two and again can have method three in this uh, case so something technical just technical like that one so right now you can see actually we can just even provide them as inputs in this uh, case inputs it is more dynamic inputs input in this uh, case so instead of just having to come back and choose whichever the method we can just now choose the method over here so method then let us see if we print method 2 is selected so right now you can see we have method 2 is selected for trading in this uh, case and again if we were to choose method 3 in this uh, instance you can see we will just print that method 3 is selected for trading in this uh, case so right now as uh, you can see in this uh, case that is now everything that you need to know about the enumerations in this uh, instance so basically you can just go ahead and print maybe maybe even the days of the week the yeah something like something like what i mean technically is this one maybe you can have like days of week days of week in this uh, case so then you can have like over here you can have monday you can have tuesday you can have wednesday you can have thursday you can then have friday then you can have saturday and then then again can have sunday in this uh, case again it doesn't really matter in this uh, case so over here maybe you could just come and have it as inputs over here so input like uh, days days of week that like we have then day is equals to maybe 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 day is equals to maybe monday maybe or even sunday in this uh, case as we have already uh, defined over there so if you are to compile this one then you can then again have trading options like if it is the selected day is on uh, maybe friday or it is on uh, maybe saturday you, maybe you do not want to we do not usually trade on weekends you so can just print it is on weekend trading is not allowed then to terminate the expert advisor instead of having it to run in this uh, instance you do not want it to run in this uh, case you do not want to perform any trading uh, operations then you can check maybe like if it is on the it is on a thursday friday uh, yeah something like that one or uh, a monday maybe you do not want to trade on a monday so if uh, again it is on a monday just uh, go back you do not want to trade so again you can just have the 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 days of the week selected over here just as you have predefined them in this uh, case so you can maybe choose thursday you can then maybe again use this drop down cup to maybe choose between uh, the days over here it is on a saturday so it is on a weekend no trading activities allowed on this particular account so yeah something technical like that one so that is now everything that uh, you needed to know about this uh, that basically you need to know about these enumerations that we create in this uh, instance so right now you can see you can also you can just create your enumerations like uh, you have seen in this uh, case then again yeah something like uh, uh, basically technical like uh, that one so yeah <laughs> i mean maybe you can also use the predefined enumerations in this uh, case predefined enumerations like uh, we have enum basically the enum maybe day of week also day of week like uh, weekday weekday is equals to maybe you can have monday in this uh, case again i think this is also a kind of enumeration that is now stored stored inside the uh, the 
the mql5 library in this uh, case so right now over here you can see you can as well choose between the day of the week as well however we also defined our own days of the week over here like uh, you can see in this uh, case again these are not like the, the predefined days of the uh, the week inside the mql5 again we have like many other many other like you can have as many enums as you want in this uh, case maybe maybe like uh, maybe like 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 what like what like applied price in this uh, case maybe you can have price in this uh, let me just choose months do we have months wow what what can we have what can we have here no here no here in a, in a, i just want to choose like in a, any other predefined any other predefined like uh, yeah yeah i just basically mean like you can do <laughs> you can have like yeah maybe you can have the applied price maybe you can have price and then you can have something like price price close like uh, something technical like uh, that one which is now a uh, content inside there so again inside the what do i mean inside the mql5 library in this case so again you can see you can have access to all these enumerations in this case which is now we created this kind of price this kind of uh, price variable using the inbuilt mql5 library enumeration again the day of the week however as you can see over here the first two options in this case or the first two variables as you can see over here we just created them by ourselves so technically that is how you can maybe choose uh, among these uh, things in this case so it is super easy as uh, you have seen in this uh, case to create your own like to create your own enumerations as well for use in your expert advisor as you deem fit in this uh, case so basically that is now everything that uh, you need to know about this these uh, enumerations in this uh, instance over here so that is all bye bye and uh, basically <laughs> half night straight then see you on next video and then if you find these uh, videos like uh, like uh, good to you or uh, like uh, insightful or uh, yeah important just consider to leave a comment subscribe like comment and share the video in this uh, case so that is all bye bye and uh, yeah see you on the next lesson